Good morning, I'm meteorologist Tammy Souza, and I want to bring you up to date on what's going on with our severe weather. We have had flooding overnight, and now we have a tornado warning. And this tornado warning is for portions of uh, Montgomery County and also into portions of Philadelphia County. Right here is this cell. It's moving between Gladwin, and it is headed toward, oh, say, Abington, and uh, it's near Barron Hill. So along this line, Allen Lane, uh, just off to the north and the west of East Falls. This storm is moving off to the north and the east at about 10 miles an hour. So it's moving very slowly. It is also dumping huge amounts of rain. So this is dumping a lot of rain. If there is a tornado, and this has been radar indicated, it will be rain wrapped. So you're not necessarily going to see it. So I need you to get into the basement or the lowest level of your house. If you are in this area, now this is gonna be up near Chestnut Hill. This is going to be over uh, from Gladwin down down, down toward uh, Narberth and Penn Valley, uh, over toward Valley Kidwood. Uh, this is going to extend into the Abington area as well. Now this is until 1030 this morning. And where you see this box outlined, that's where this storm is. Uh, what you see here, what I want to show you is, this is what we know as gate to gate shear. That's where you have the winds going in opposite direction. You have spin going on in the atmosphere. And that's what's happening here. So this is just near Abington. Allen Lane right now and we would expect that anywhere in this area this storm could put down a funnel and a tornado on the ground. It is a tornado warning for Montgomery and parts of Philadelphia County. It is from Barron Hill to Gladwin to Marion to East Falls up to Abington. This is moving off to the north and the east. Again, this is moving at about 10 miles an hour. So not only do we have the threat of a tornado from this storm, the rotation, which is right back in here. You see this little indentation, and it's usually strange to see it on the backside. Usually you would see it right up in here. So in this area right here is where we have that spin and the greatest threat of the tornado as the storm moves forward. But a lot of rain being dumped with this. There is some lightning with this, and you will not see anything. It's likely rain wrapped. If you go outside, don't do that. Don't try to see it. Get into the basement, grab a pair of shoes, take them to the basement with you because if this does touch down or there's any damage, you don't want to be running around on anything broken and cut your feet. So grab the shoes, the kids, everybody get to the basement. If you are anywhere in this area from Gladwin to Barron Hill to Allen Lane and uh, this would encompass again Chestnut Hill. This is not quite to East Falls. You're right on the edge of all of this and this is the area right here where we're seeing that rotation in the middle of the storm. So it is kind of a weird shaped storm and this is the area that we're watching very closely. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to step out and I'm going to go ahead and we're going to track this out to give you a much better idea of what time this is going to be moving through your neighborhood because that's the biggest concern at 10 miles an hour. This thing is creeping along and so that is not a good thing. This entire storm in about, oh, let's say 30 minutes is going to be in Maple Glen at 10.08. Uh, it'll be in Horsham at 10.17, Hatboro at 10.21, Lower Moreland at 10.28, County Line at 10.31, and Warminster at 10.33. Again, that is the storm that is going to be moving to the north and the east. So if you're in any of these areas, please be aware of that. We want to make sure that you seek shelter immediately. I'm going to go back to this closer view because that uh, that warning box was just actually trimmed back a bit. So this is still a warning that is moving into uh, through Montgomery County and portions of uh, Philadelphia County. Germantown, you're right on the edge of this as far as um, as well as Chestnut Hill, uh, Rose Glen. Barron Hill, Windmore, and this is headed toward Abington. So what I want to do again is show you where this rotation is. Now this is where the rotation has shown up and is right in the middle of this area. It's very close to Windmore. This is the area where you see the reds and the greens together. So this is the area that we are concerned with where we could have that spin and that rotation. This tornado warning is radar indicated. At this point, we do not have any confirmation of a radar 
uh, of a tornado on the ground. This is capable of producing a tornado, but it has not done so yet. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you again the bigger picture here where you can see this brighter red box. The dark red box, that is a flash flood warning. But this bright red box, that's the one you need to be concerned with. And we're going to go ahead and put this into motion, track this out to the north and the east over about the next half hour. This is what we're looking at. Uh, you're looking at Cheltenham, Abington, Crosswicks, Horsham, 1027 and Hatboro if it stays together, uh, Bryn Athen at 1030 and Rosewood Park at 1038. Now this warning is set to expire at 1030. However, they may extend it or they may expire it early. So that's what you need to be aware of. And let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on with the skies. We've uh, turned one of our sky cams out and you can actually see those clouds as they're moving through the area off to the west of us. And that is where this storm is located. So at this point, if you are anywhere in this little box right here that is in portions of Montgomery and Philadelphia County, this is lower Montgomery County. This is going to be between about Gladwin and Abington. This is going to be from East Falls up through Chestnut Hill. This is the area and you need to get in your basement. You need to stay away from the windows. Let this thing pass. This is going to be a rain wrapped storm. Here is the path that it is taking to the north and the east again very slow moving. This is producing extremely heavy rain. If you're under this, you're getting some lightning and very, very heavy rain. And that's a concern. You won't be able to see this coming. There will be gusty winds that will pop up and that will be your notification that you're on the fringe of this thing, whether a tornado is produced or we just end up having some downbursts of wind. Right here is where we're seeing that rotation. That's where we're getting something called gate to gate shear. You have the inbound winds and the outbound winds creating that speed in, and this is where it's taking place, where you see the red. So anywhere in this box capable of seeing damaging winds, but especially capable of seeing a tornado touch down, this right here is radar indicated. Again, we have not gotten confirmation of a tornado on the ground, but it is very possible this storm could produce it. It is very strange looking storm because it's kind of just a big cluster, a mishmash right here. And that's because it's rain wrapped and it's very hard to discern exactly where the rotation is, but it is right in this area. So if you really looked at the whole outline of the storm, you could see it kind of going like this right in here. There's one little uh, groove right here and another one right here is where we're concerned. So this is just to the north of Allen Lane. This is not moving quickly. So if this does produce a tornado, it will move very slowly on the ground, which is even a bigger concern, which is why if you are in Allen Lane, if you're in Barron Hill, if you're off into Abington, you really need to make sure that you get to the basement and stay away from the outside windows. Let's go ahead and see if we can see anything again on our sky cam that's out there. Um, we just see basically we're seeing the clouds, the cloud deck that's out there is pretty ominous as this moves by. Now, haven't had any uh, any mention of any wall clouds at this point, and nobody has mentioned seeing any funnels. Again, this is radar indicated. So that is one thing is different than having one confirmed on the ground. Nonetheless, you need to be prepared for this. This is going to be in effect until 1030 this morning. They may extend it as it moves further north and east. They may expire it. Uh, this is the bigger picture of where this is. You have one box around it that's a dark red. That is a flash flood warning. That's because of the very heavy rain that has moved through the area. This bright red box again from Abington back toward Lower Marion. That is where we have the tornado warning for this particular cell right here. Now I'm going to widen it out and let you see what is moving through the area. That is the only tornado warning we have right now. We had one earlier this morning about 430 this morning for Lower Bucks. And that's because we have another piece of energy coming at us that's bringing us this heavy rain and just a little bit of spin in the atmosphere. It's very unstable out there. So we do have some flash flood warnings in effect and all of this put into motion you can see is moving to the north and the east, but it is doing so very slowly. It's going over the same places. So we have this flash flooding threat again on top of this tornado warning that's taking place. So again, I'm going to go ahead. I'll track this out for you so you can be aware of what it's heading. But if you are anywhere from Lower Marion to Abington, across Chestnut Hill, 
East Falls, you definitely want to get into the basement. You want to get away from the windows. You want to grab a pair of shoes because if there is any damage and you have to uh, quickly get out of the house or afterward, if you go out of the house, you don't want to step on anything. You don't want uh, any danger of that. I'm going to go in very close just so you can see who's affected here. This is uh, Marble Hall, Roxborough on the back end of it, Germantown on the east side of it. It's Windmore. It's Abington that it's headed toward. Upper Dublin, you may be right on the edge of all of this as this whole thing heads off to the north and the east. And that is exactly what it is doing right now, very, very quickly. We'll go back to uh, what is known as our... Um, it's, this is our velocity monitor. It's the storm movement. And it is, it is this area right here where you see that red dot. That is the area that we are looking at that gate to gate shear. So it's now moving past Windmore. And uh, that's where that center of rotation is. And you can see it near East Orland, White Marsh, Ardsley. If a tornado touches down, this is the area that it would be in right now. I'll back out and I want to go ahead and uh, come in a little bit closer right here as to where we have that, uh, that tornado warning. So you can see it's moving to the north and the east, so where it is starting to move out of the area. But again, if you're in um, Windmore, Gunside, White Marsh, Cedarbrook, St. Martin's, you are right in the middle of this. And here we'll go in just a little bit closer. Um, east Orland, Hillcrest, you can see some of the cross streets in here. Um, we are looking at uh, West Waverly Road. We're looking at, um, let's see, Cedarbrook being very near all of this and Glenside. And so all of this area is the area that needs to be aware. All of you in this area need to be very aware that this is headed in your direction. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to kind of time this out again. It's moving to the north and the east. This is moving at about 10 miles an hour. So I'm going to take this out. Uh, probably I'm going to take it out about a half hour because it's moving so slowly. And even though the warning is set to expire at 1030, they could always extend this particular warning. So that is something to bear in mind. This is not something that uh, is going to just go away at 1030. It could end earlier or not. Now, this is just part of a storm system that's been crossing our area for the last several days. It has brought those torrential rains, the deadly flash flooding in upper um, Makefield Township last night. And now we have this line of showers and storms that is streaming across the area, dumping heavy rain. And we have this tornado warning in this heavily populated area right here. So Abington, Right about now, 1018, you need to be in shelter. You need to be away from the windows, lowest level of your house. You know what? Call a neighbor, call a friend, get the kids inside. People may not know that this is going on. It's pouring, it's a torrential downpour, so I would imagine not outside, but just make sure everybody is safe. Um, we're looking at Horsham at 1029, Hatboro at 1034, Lower Moreland at 1037, and County Line at 1044 with this particular storm system. Again, this line is moving off to the north and the east. It is moving very slowly, 10 miles an hour. That is slow. Usually these things scream through at 25, 30, 40 miles an hour. So that means the heavy rain, which is wrapping around this storm, which may or may not produce a tornado because this is radar indicated, is going to obscure anything and it's going to continue. And if a tornado touches down, it will not be moving quickly anywhere. It is attached to the storm. It will be moving very, very slowly. You can see all of the heavy rain still moving down the shoreline. That's a concern for flash flooding. But now along the I-95 corridor, I am very concerned that we could see some flash flooding moving through this area here. So that is something that we're keeping an eye on. But again, we have a tornado warning and that's why we have interrupted your programming. You can always uh, check with us online, streaming. We're gonna have all of that as well, but here here we go. Abington, Horsham. This is that cell. Still looks like it's weakening. Doesn't look like it's strengthening at this point, which is a good thing, but it has still got a tornado warning on it. So it's got some spin on it. The cell earlier this morning at 430 this morning that moved out of Bucks County, moved into North Jersey, did produce some tree damage. They're still evaluating that situation. So again, this is radar indicated. And you can see now the center of rotation headed toward Abington. 
They have not extended this uh, tornado warning box off to the north and the east, so they may be watching if this is weakening or not. But right here is where I would be most concerned with the storm. So this would be approaching all of you in Abington and Upper Dublin because this is where you have that gate to gate shear, which is where you would be dropping down a funnel or a tornado. So we have that tornado warning now until 1030 this morning. This is for portions of Montgomery County. We're talking about lower Montgomery County. We're talking about areas now that are moving to the east of Gladwin and over uh, the river and over into parts of Philadelphia County. So we're talking about Chestnut Hill. We're talking about East Falls, Roxborough. We're talking about Maniunk, all of that area. And that is now moving also toward Abington. And you can see that storm moving. It, it's not really staying together very well. So I'm actually thinking this is beginning to fall apart. But that area of rotation with the most concern is right in here. So that that's where they are watching the closest to see what's going on with this storm. Outside right now, we do have rain falling in Philadelphia. That storm is crossing the area, but it does not have the warning on top of the city itself. So uh, that's good news. It is a very small area nonetheless. Tornado warning for all of you here in uh, Montgomery County from Gladwin uh, all the way over toward Abington. And this is crossing a little portion of Philadelphia County. I'm going to come back here, check to see if we have any updates on what's going on with this. Um, it's still, it's a radar indicated uh, tornado warning. It is being continued. Uh, the Weather Service says, oh, we're thinking maybe this thing still has some rotation in it. So zooming in a little closer, you can see some of the areas that are being most affected. Again, this is going to be Enfield, Windmore, St. Martins, Cedarbrook, Glenside, White Marsh, Dresher, uh, over to Jenkintown, Abington. You need to get indoors. Very heavy rain with this, torrential downpours. There's likely some intense lightning in some parts of this storm, but most importantly, this has rotation, and that is what the big concern is. And this is moving off to the north and the east at 10 miles an hour, so it's moving very slowly. This is not typical. Usually this would have cleared the area by now, but it is not doing so at all. So you can see that line. Uh, glad when you're in the clear right now. Tonshawken in the clear, Marble Hall, you're in the clear. Cheltenham, you're on the northeast side of it and it is not likely shifting in your direction. In fact, it looks like it's gonna be shifting through Abington to Upper Dublin toward Warminster and Upper Moreland. So those are the areas that this particular storm would be headed next. And as we take a look at where we have that uh, gate to gate shear, it's still, it's not in a common area. We're looking at it uh, moving off, uh, off kind of to the to the northeast side of the storm itself. I'm um, going to go ahead and take a look, if if we can, at what is going on, perhaps with the flash flooding, because we do have quite a bit of uh, rain taking place out there, and uh, we've had uh, rain. We have a flash flood warning until 12:45, and again, that flash flood warning, just so that you're aware of that, with this whole situation that encompasses almost the same area so that actually goes from uh, portions of Delaware County all the way up through portions of Lower Montgomery Philadelphia County even into a little portion of Bucks County and that's that dark red line that's taking place right there so that's something that uh, that you need to be aware of that this thing is producing the very very heavy rain um, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what's going on again with our velocity uh, here, which is our gate to gate shear, uh, which you can get an idea of. And it's right here where you see the red dot taking place. I know that red dot isn't very clear uh, because it's kind of a faded muted red, but that's where we have the greatest rotation taking place. This does not present as a very strong storm. I'll tell you that right off the bat. It seems like it's falling apart, but nonetheless, there is some rotation wrapping around and it's this area now you can make out this little horseshoe right here this is the area where we have the rotation so it is just off to the north and the east of Allendale uh, and that's where we're seeing all of that activity um, as far as the warning itself again 
till 1030. So we have seven more minutes left on this warning. And again, this area of red is where we're watching the closest. That is where we're seeing the inbound and the outbound winds going past each other, creating the spin that allowed for them to issue this. Now this is radar indicated. This rainy batch right here is taking on more of a, of a horseshoe type shape with the center of it uh, right here. But again, it does not present like a bright thunderstorm typically would. So anything that could possibly touch down would be rain wrapped. You don't want to go outside. You're not going to see it. There's heavy rain that is falling right now. Just stay in your house, lowest level, go to the basement, turn the TV up. You can hear from the basement. Just crank that baby up. If your power goes out, well, then you, at least you're in the basement where you're safe. Make sure to grab the shoes so that you can put those on. Maybe grab a pillow, you know, so that you can put that over your head if the worst happens and a tornado does touch down with this. Um, Tracking this out, again, Abington, Horsham, here we are. We're, we're looking at Horsham at 1029, Hatboro at 1034. The warning is only until 1030, but if they extend it, this particular storm is going to continue on this path, Lower Moreland at 1037 and County Line at 1044. Here is that line of storms, again, moving to the north and the east. Now watch the path they're taking. They're going over the same areas again and again. Uh, the biggest threat with all of this has been the flash flooding. We saw that in the upper uh, Makefield Township with the people that were killed in that flash flood last night. So we have to be aware of that. And now there is spin attached to all of this. So we're getting a little bit of spin in this area with that particular storm. Going back, let's go back a little bit closer to it. And you can see right here, moving to the north and the east, in this bright red box, that is where we have the tornado warning. In this area right here, in that very close up area is where we actually have that little nook where we would see the rotation. Nothing about this storm presents as a severe storm or a tornadic storm other than the fact that rotation has been detected and it has been right in this area where you see um, this uh, this kind of this horseshoe shape. So we're looking from Ardsley back to one coat up to Abington to White Marsh. That's the area that we need to be most concerned with going in a little bit closer just so that you can see where you are located. East Orland, Ardsley, Abington, Dresher, Glenside. That's the area of this rotation right now. And so if a tornado should touch down, it would be in that particular area. And then it would continue to the north and the east. But this storm is moving so slowly and dumping a lot of rain that anything that would touch down wouldn't move through quickly. It would be there for a little while, maybe bounce up and down. So that's why you need to get away from those windows, even though you're probably looking at a lot of rain right now. You need to get yourself indoors. Um, we're watching this as it's now beginning to kind of exit the, uh, the box here, the tornado warning. And you can see that all of this is kind of shearing apart. It's kind of falling apart. It's not too impressive anymore. In fact, just got this down from the National Weather Service. They are expiring the warning for Montgomery County and uh, also for Philadelphia. So it has expired. This box is still up here. I'm going to take a little bit wider view, um, mostly so you can see where it is. The storm did weaken. It doesn't look very impressive. So this tornado warning has expired. Whether or not they choose to issue another one coming up remains to be seen. None of this looks very impressive, so that may be it for this. What I am concerned about is all of the heavy rain and the potential for flash flooding. So at this point, we do not have a tornado warning. We do not have a severe thunderstorm warning, and we basically are just dealing with these flash flood warnings, and that's what you have to be aware of. This may pop up again a little bit later on today, a tornado warning, but again, this tornado warning has officially been expired by the National Weather Service, meaning it is no longer uh, in place and now everything is clear. Gusty winds with this, they'll be keeping an eye on it. And of course, we'll let you know if anything else pops up. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and return you to your programming, the CBS Sunday Morning Show, which has been airing on WPSG, Channel 57. We'll return you to that and we will let you know if anything else pops up in the way of a tornado warning. Other than that, please be aware of the flash flood potential out there for today. We now return you to your programming.